What's up, champions? Welcome back to Jet Surfing Nation. Today, once again, we are here in sunny Kashkash, and as always, joining me, Pedro, to see this new amazing product from Flightboard called Flightboard Scooter. As you know, some people like extreme sports, radical jumps, moves, wave riding, but there is a big amount of people who never tried e-foiling. Even after almost five years on the market, some people still don't know what e-foil is. And when they see, they assume it's very dangerous, it's very difficult to ride. So Flightboard is finally solving this problem with this new cool toy. So Pedro, please introduce the flight scooter to us. Uh, yes, thank you, Mike. Uh, welcome again uh, to our beautiful Bay of Kashkaj. So this is the newest flight scooter from uh, Flight. It's a seven uh, feet board, okay? It's a big board, okay? It was built to be the most accessible board to everyone. So now everyone can ride and to have the feeling of uh, e-foiling, okay? So it has this brilliant handlebar, okay? Uh, that is removable, okay? So you just can take it, put uh, a cover, a little lid, and uh, you turn into this board into a normal air airboard. It has a throttle here on the thumb, okay? And it's just because you have four uh, points of support, so you're going to ride like this, okay? So it will be really easy. You can start on your feet, just standing, okay? You grab the, the handlebar, you just put some power on it and you go. Yeah, I know when first we saw the first original handlebar e -foil, some people were skeptical about them, but I already saw early reviews of flight scooter and a lot of people even who ride normal flight board, they love this one as well because you can actually go without getting wet. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a different uh, feeling, okay? On the f When I saw the first uh, prototype of this one, I said, well, why to put a handlebar? Because um, the e-foil, the, e the airboard, it's, uh, it was really easy to ride. Uh, and then they've asked me, uh, will you put your parents on an airboard? And I said, yeah, probably not. So, and with this one, no problem at all, okay? So anybody can, can, can ride, it's really, really easy. It's a different feeling of, um, of doing the normal e-foil, okay? Because the stance is different, okay? You're gonna, uh, you're gonna ride with your feet on the same line, okay? Mm -hmm. And not one in the front and the, the other on the back. Some people that try to ride it like a normal e-foil, they uh, fall to the water like I felt on the first try, okay? Uh, but then, uh, after you know the correct position, it's really easy and really fun because you're gonna ride it right like a normal scooter, okay? You can do nice turns with it and it's really smooth because it comes with a, with a jet, okay? It's really smooth, it's a really smooth uh, ride and uh, I think everybody gonna gonna love it. Yeah, it looks really massive but we need to point out it's inflatable uh, so you can pack it up and it becomes much smaller after you pack it. Uh, yes, um, it's a 237 liter board, okay? So it has this um, carbon box that is uh, rigid so uh, it has the proper uh, stiffness for, for, for uh, for your feet, okay? And then all this part around, okay, that is uh, inflatable. Uh, you can just take the air, roll it up, and it goes into a, and then turns to um, a small package. And it's fully compatible with original flight board batteries and the remote control, right? Uh, yes, everything is the same, okay? The batteries are the same. It can fit uh, any battery from the Explorer to the Nano, okay? And it's the normal uh, remote controller. So, for people who are afraid of e-foiling, there are a lot of safety features that were added to this board. For example, the safety magnet and also in the app you have, you have an option to set an area, a safe area where, where you can ride it, yeah? Uh, yes, this board uh, was built to be the, the most safest uh, e-foil, okay? So, it comes with a wireless um, key, okay? We'll wear it on your wrist, like a normal watch, okay? And in the event case of you, uh, you fall in the water, it will cut the power. Even if you go uh, some meters from the from the your board, it will cut the power. So nobody on, on the beach can start it up and uh, and ride. It comes with a with a jet that it's a, a safety uh, measure too. Okay, it comes with a jet drive and it comes with um, the cruiser uh, 1800 uh, wings. That's because of the, their shape, they are round to to bottom. Okay, so in the worst case that the board flips to the side and you hit the wing you will not cut yourself, okay? Because we'll hit the round part of the wing. Yeah, um, I'm glad this time flight board made the wings less sharp. The original ones were really laser sharp. And this one is quite smooth, even if quite I touch smooth. it with my leg. Yeah, all the edges are really yeah. smooth. All right, and the jet, of course, makes it much safer for people who are just learning out. But it, you can switch back to original prop if you want, yeah? Yeah, it's the Series 3 uh, model, so you just you can just uh, uh, unscrew the jet and screw a normal uh, prop one. 
All right. And of course, Lightboard is always surprising us with a lot of new improvements, new products. And recently they had a big merge. So a lot of exciting things are coming for Lightboard and even a folding prop. So what can you tell us? Yes, the new uh, Mark Nielsen uh, models are just amazing. Uh, I was just uh, fortunate to try them at, uh, at the Cannes uh, uh, boat show, uh, at the Cannes flight event. Um, and um, I was just stunning. It, it, it's just, uh, I think it's everything that I would like to have on a Nifoil now, uh, it will uh, come reality. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so the, the new board from um, the designer Mark Newson, okay, um, it will be available in three different configurations. Well, it's a really stylish board, okay, the, the board was completely redesigned by Mark Newson. Um, actually, it's uh, exposed in, um, in, in London, in a, you know, on an um, art show, okay, uh, so and it's available in three uh, different configurations. So it will be the Mark Newson 86, that's a 86 liter board, okay, it will be between the the size it will be between the um, the, the pro and the standard um, then we'll have the um, the MN60 uh, uh, that is a 60 liter board it will um, it the size it's between the ultra and the, and the pro and then we'll have the the um, MN60 uh, uh, wave that is a model special developed for waves uh, that um, will come with a folding prop okay uh, this one will have a new redesigned engine okay uh, it's really smaller the size uh, it's a 46 centimeter diameter um, uh, engine okay all of them will have a new monoblock carbon fiber um, mask uh, so no bo no bolts no steams so it's it was everything was built to be really uh, stylish, hydrodynamic, necessary stiffness, okay? So the mast has an, um, an integrated uh, cooling system, okay? But it's not electrical, so the, the water will flow inside the mast, okay? Um, there will be available new wings for uh, waves um, and, uh, and the new folding prop for the, um, for the wave model. The other two models uh, will have um, the, the, jet, uh, the jet engine or the prop with a, with a true glide. They'll have a, a new redesigned engine too, um, a little bit um, bigger. All right, very good. And also, like you mentioned, the new app has a lot of new features as well for safety. Yes, uh, for the um, for security, um, the flight scooter, and then the, um, this feature will be for regular will be, flight board area, will be yeah. available on the on the for the other flight boards. Okay, um, it's introducing the concept of the fly zones. Okay, so on the app you can draw the zone that will be allowed it for you to to ride or your your clients, uh, and then in the event case that you ride uh, for out of that area, okay, the board will reduce the the speed. To, to the limit. Um, they've already incorporated the new uh, max speed, okay, so you can program the max speed that you or your clients or your friends are allowed to ride the, the EFL. So if you set like uh, 20 kilometers hour, even if they put speed, the maximum speed 20, okay, as soon as the um, as the, the board arrives 20 kilometers, it will maintain that speed. Very cool. And finally, where do you see the usage of this product? Is it for rentals, for hotels, or for like yacht charters? Well, the flight scooter, we'll see what the market uh, will tell us, okay? But for me, it will be uh, great for, for rentals uh, and to learn, to provide the, uh, the flight uh, experience to everyone. Uh, it can be used as a tender because I've got some, pli the, some clients from the, the yacht that when they see this, they say, okay, this will be perfect because if I need to go to shore, you can just stand on it because it's really stable, so you can just stand on it. And because it's infl inflatable, it doesn't scratch your boat, okay? So you just put it on the platform, you put it in the water, you just put some power and you go to, to shore. So no need to use like a normal tender boat because it's, if it's only one person, it will come really steady with this. Perfect. All right. Everything sounds good. I cannot wait to try it as always. Let's see. Okay, so let's go to the water, Mike. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, riding 
Let's go, Dara. Woohoo!